Ride with me as I take a neighborhood drive through tour of Valley Vista. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare your favorite Las Vegas realtor and welcome to my neighborhood series. In this series, I like to drive around all the neighborhoods or master plan communities in the Las Vegas Valley. Today, we are gonna be taking a tour of Valley Vista, which is a newer master plan community in North Las Vegas, and it is in the 89084 zip code. The cross streets for Valley Vista are Decatur and Elkhorn, but right now I am heading, the way I'm going to Valley Vista is off of Aliante Parkway. Uh, so I get off at of Aliante Parkway and I head, I guess I would head left or this would be north on Aliante Parkway. And of course there's stop signs, stop lights. Um, to the right over there is Aliante Hotel and Casino. So this, this community was developed a few years back, a couple years back or so, and the two main builders for Valley Vista are Lennar and uh, DR Horton Homes. Was there a fire? Yep. A car. Wow. A truck. A truck. It's a little hazy out. <laughs> it's like, what's going on? So, Valley Vista is right next door to the Aliante Master Plan community, which is really nice because it's super close to a lot of amenities. You have what we just mentioned, or what I just mentioned, was the Aliante Hotel and Casino. Then if you go down the freeway, you're going to have all the shopping conveniences that you ever need down on the other side of the freeway. We don't want Club Aliante. To the right is Sun City Aliante and to the left is Club Aliante. Stay tuned to my channel. I will also be doing a neighborhood drive through tour of Aliante to showcase it for you as well. Valley Vista spans over 2,600 acres with 21 communities, three parks, walking and biking paths, there's a school on site, and over 3,500 homes. Homes range in size between 1,100 square feet to over 4,400 square feet. So now we're down, the last time I was here, I remember that um, there wasn't that many houses, um, but the bulk, the main builder really is DR Horton. Uh, Lennar has three communities and DR Horton has, uh, I think, 14 communities. So we're gonna take a right right here. The two actively selling communities in Valley Vista for DR Horton is Ari's Point and Nova Point. However, um, there's very few left and they're fast selling. I don't know if there's gonna be any more new construction in Valley Vista with Lennar and or um, DR Horton. So we're gonna we're taking a right right here. Now the only thing with this these two neighborhoods is that you can't really tell which one is Nova Point and which one is Aries Point. And in the future, really, what's gonna matter? Who's gonna know what? <laughs> Who's gonna know whose house was in what? Because to me, there's no real fine divide. Uh, but we're gonna take a right, and right now they have the sign Aries Point, and to the left, Nova Point. So we'll take a look at the houses and then we will um, continue driving around Valley Vista. So on Aries Point, um, this is a gated community and there's three two-story floor plans to choose from, ranging in size from 1715 square feet to 1865 square feet. So these are a little smaller two-story homes. And 
And then Nova Point also has three two-story floor plans to choose from, ranging in size from 2137 to 2665, so they're a little larger homes. And these are typical DR Horton homes. I'm gonna get my camera out and record what these homes look like so you guys can see. Now, D.R. Horton is known for building their homes in 90 days or you know, or less. I don't know if during the whole boom of construction that it took a little longer, but basically when you buy these homes, pretty much you don't or you're not able to select all your options. That's already selected for you. It's kind of like in 45 days, that's when they'll start listing their homes and then you can purchase it. Um, it's not a builder where you can build from ground up. Now, I apologize. That's DR Horton Express um, is that way. Other regular DR Horton is the opposite, but DR Horton Express, they're supposed to be done faster, um, already specced out as you like, and that's it. You can't change anything. The nice thing about all the neighborhoods here in Valley Vista is that they're all gated neighborhoods. Um, so that's a really nice feature. If you want to learn more about Valley Vista, you can always go to my website at neighborhoodsinlasvegas.com where I've done an extensive detailed job of all the neighborhoods or master plan communities here in Las Vegas. And I will have listings for all those neighborhoods. Eventually, the goal will be to have a video for all those neighborhoods as well. So this is the Nova Point section that we're driving in. We just did one big loop. Half of it's, uh, like I said, Ari's Point, the other half Nova Point. And then this one across the way is, thank you, Luna Point. right and circle back around Is Grand Teton. So it looks like Grand Teton's the dividing line. I'm gonna flip around because the rest of it's not Valley Vista. Sorry, I had to stop for a minute. I was receiving a phone call. So let's continue on taking a tour of Valley Vista. I must stop. Huh? Stop in that neighborhood? You go right through the steps now. Oh, here's Lyra Point. I do believe this one is almost 
done. This is now selling, so I lied. There's two, act, three actively selling communities, but Lear Point, from what I understand, is almost selling out, and these are considered townhomes, and they range in size between 1319 square feet to 1437 square feet. Um, so these are actually nice looking townhomes. It looks like they have one to two car garages. I like the asymmetrical roof lines. The yellow doors. Huh. That's interesting. There's two doors. Do they have three car garages and split it? Or I don't get it. How this is split up. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's three car garages. Hmm. It's interesting. It says one and two car garages though. That makes sense. Yeah, this is a nice little townhome community. Yellow doors. Fuck. Alright, let's take a quick video of these houses. Blue door. Yellow doors, teal doors. Oh, there's a side entrance. Orange doors. So, I bet you... The side entrance is for the left side of the house. See that sidewalk right there leads to the side. So there's three houses. Actually, four on this. So there, there's a house, a house, a house, and another house. The two front ones are the ones with the one car garage. Because there's a, a walkway to the front door for this one. Mm. And then the front door to that house. And then a front door to that house. And then a front door on the side for that one. Interesting. I like it. Sure, these are pretty reasonably priced ones too. Okay. The nice thing about Valley Vista is it's close proximity to the 215 and Nellis Air Force Base and also the VA hospital. And that's why a lot of people like um, living in North Las Vegas, especially if they're stationed out here in Nellis. It's easy access. And a lot of people think that North Las Vegas, they poo poo on North Las Vegas. They think it's such a bad area. A lot of their friends and family warn them not to visit North Las Vegas, but that's all a myth. North Las Vegas is beautiful, especially the newer parts of North Las Vegas on either side of the 215. Very nice. I, I would, I prefer having my clients buy in North Las Vegas in the Southwest. <laughs> so we're going to take a look at a couple of Lennar communities. They have three of them in here and they are actively selling. They're almost sold out, but not fully. Um, this is the, nope, that's still Gemini Point. That's still, what's my call it? That's sold out. Oh, actually, we're gonna take a look at the Galaxy Park first, which is this very nice, large park. I'm gonna get out, take a video of it, and then we'll continue on with the adventure. Okay, just landed at Galaxy Park. My phone overheated, so I had to cool it down. It's like, gosh, you know, technology is not what it's cracked up to be. And this is why I say the sun bothers me sometimes because I can never record and do what I want to do with my neighborhood tours. So this looks like there's um, a dog park here in this park, which is very nice.
We got two dog parks. Tons of walking paths. Um, what else is there? Fitness areas. There's also a disc golf course. Oh, and a lighted pickleball, volleyball, and basketball courts. one for big doggies and one for little doggies this is a nice park there's the volleyball court sand volleyball looks like they have public restrooms I'm actually quite impressed with this park So bright. I cannot see if I'm recording anything. Yeah, I think I am. That's pretty cool. Very nice. I like it. I can't even take a picture of the park because of the sun. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to find the other two parks, but maybe I'll continue driving around. No. lady asked if I was from the HOA. No. I kind of like those little lounge chairs right there. You can get some sunbathing done. And I do believe like these little light poles are for the disc golf now. Because usually disc golf there's like nets. I'm going to take a picture of this park since the sun is over me. And then we'll finish touring. Okay, I think I got a good picture. I'm curious to see where this disc golf is. So it's nice that it has um, little dog stations if you want to walk your dog. I mean, yes, I do thoroughly enjoy this grass, but <laughs> um, when they bake, make these parks, they should consider these things because of the water shortage. This is a lot of watering that they have to do to keep this grass nice and green. Um, they should have considered, I know turf could get hot, but I think they should have thought of something else. I don't see the disc golf anywhere. Uh, let me go further. Oh, there's the pickleball courts right there. Cute. We saw the volleyball court, the pickleball courts. And, huh, I don't know if I'm missing it, but I don't see the basketball courts either. All right, well, this is Galaxy Park. I'll see you on the flip side. Just had to real quick show you guys those mountains. Everywhere you turn, there's beautiful mountain views. I like this neighborhood. It's open, wide, everything's new. <laughs> okay. What'd you guys think of that park? I like it a lot. And you can see beautiful mountain views everywhere you turn. There's a nice basketball courts nice park Regal Point Mira Point where's the 
those Lennar communities. Let's take a right and see what's down this way. Oh, Queensbury's down there. Orion Point. We're heading south. range in size between 2283 square feet to 3079 square feet and it has its nice little park in front of the community they have a handful left they're you know they're still selling and these houses are very nice they have six two-story floor plans to choose from and um, there's one model that does have a next gen suite in it. And the nice thing about the next gen suite is that Lennar does the next gen suite, right? They usually will have its own garage and its own front entry. And it's like a little apartment inside the house. And it also will have its own casita or um, living room, bathroom, kitchenette and a separate bedroom and also it will have a stackable washer and dryer I have a client that's interested in this community he's coming at the end of this month um, and we're gonna check it out the nice thing with Lennar um, that's different from a lot of the other builders is the everything included package and what that means is Typically when you buy Lennar, the two inch horizontal blinds come with the house. The smart um, features come with the house, like the ring doorbell. Um, a lot of other smart features come with the house, the thermostats. Um, and a lot of them, depending on the community, will come with a refrigerator and washer and dryer. So when you are buying new construction from a different builder, they're gonna nickel and dime you for a lot of things. With Lennar, the only things that you can really upgrade is your countertops and your flooring. Um, they provide beautiful shaker style cabinets um, in like three or four different colors. And then all you have to do is pick your countertops and your flooring. Typically when you buy new construction, flooring is um, carpeting is throughout the entire house except for the wet areas and then um, then I mean obviously if I were to spend money on an upgrade I'd spend it on flooring because who wants carpeting in their house I sure as heck don't sometimes though what Lennar has been doing and I don't know oh man a cul-de-sac another picnic area Sometimes Lennar has been doing what's called spec homes or standing inventory homes where a lot of the options has been picked or selected. So I bet you these houses that are being built right now are those spec homes and they have them completed in phases. So some of them will be ready in November, December, January, February, etc. So they keep the selling um, fluid and consistent and they always have houses available to clients um, pretty much when you tour a Lennar home what you see is what you get and that's it the only downside is that you really can't upgrade the primary bathroom a lot of clients don't like that because they want to have a very fancy 
primary bathroom with all the tile work. Unfortunately, it comes with the standard tub shower insert or just a plain shower with the cultured marble. So, I'm getting turned around. Um, let's go this way. This is a big community. As you can see what we were at, all the construction, that's all that's left in this community. So it's nice. There's pros and cons to buying at the end phase of the community. The one pro is that pretty much all the construction's done, so you don't have to worry too much about the being in a construction zone for over a year or two years, however long. Here's the model homes. There's some more. I guess no one knows what to do. DR Horton townhomes over there. Let's see. Avery. Um, I don't know if I can go down. Doesn't look like. I gotta find where the other Lennar homes are at. There's two more communities. One's a townhome and another community which has larger homes. So right here is this thing called a Vista Park, which is luxury retirement living. It's big. All right, next we're gonna go to Queensbury. And I just had a client buy in this community. Got a really good deal. Now this, Queensberry only has two different models to choose from. You have the Pioneer and the Liberty. The Pioneer is the single story and the Liberty is the two story. And they both have next gen suites in them. So the nice thing about all these Lennar communities is each of them have like a grassy area and a nice park area. Um, so my house, my clients got the Pioneer, like I said, with the next gen suite, very beautiful layout. It's around 2,200 square feet and the floor plan is perfect, even with that next gen suite. So technically, I think it was four bedrooms, but the fourth bedroom is the next gen suite. I really, really like next gen suites. Um, and I wish more builders did them the way Lennar does them because Lennar does it right. are nice. So the larger model is 3348 square feet and the smaller single story is 2289 square feet. I have another client that also bought the Liberty. I forgot to mention that. Um, and that was nice that they got the Liberty. They got a really good deal as well. By the time you watch this video, not sure if this community will still be having homes for sale or if it's sold out or if there are any deals left. <laughs> but um, I need to drive down one more street so I can get a picture of what the homes look like. Oh, that's nice. It looks like they put the first five or six houses all single story right there.
I would hate to have the single story smushed in between two big two story homes. All right, so now let's go find the last Lennar community. Um, that one's called Roxbury and those are townhomes. I've been to it not too long ago, but I can't remember where it's at. And I may be driving around aimlessly looking for it. Okay, I finally found Roxbury. I forgot to mention that, I don't know if I did in the beginning of this video, that Century Communities has uh, 14 communities. 11 of them are single family homes and the other three are townhomes. So that's info that I did not mention before and I'm sure I did mention this, that Lennar has uh, three communities in Valley Vista and that's the only two builders here in Valley Vista. So Roxbury are condos, they call these condos and not townhomes and they range in size between 1161 to 1786 um, and this one is, um, you know, it's still got a minute to go on these as well. Now the reason they call these condos is because there is no land attached to it. Anytime there's land attached to a house and it's joined together, that's called a townhome. But when it's no land, then it's called a condo, which is quite interesting. Um, let me just get the camera going and we'll take some video of what these condos look like. To me, my idea of a condo is something that is traditionally like an overrated apartment. <laughs> but that is not the case for here in the Las Vegas Valley. So in this Roxbury, they have seven different floor plans to choose from and um, either two or three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and they all have two car garage, which is nice. I wonder if these community is similar to the community in Summerlin called Highline. Mm. Oh boy. <laughs> People don't think. Well, actually, this is it. This is Valley Vista. No more, nothing else to explore. Let me know in the comments what you think of Valley Vista. Uh, if you live in Valley Vista, or if you're thinking about moving or buying in Valley Vista, you know, you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112. I will post a link down in the description to Valley Vista um, 
and also any videos that I have done. I don't think I've done any videos actually of Valley Vista. Anyway, folks, make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.